Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Supergirl. So let's start talking about this episode. So with this episode, we get to see uh, some religious themes come up because we have uh, this kind of cult-like group come up. Um, and Supergirl slash Kara realizes this pamphlet that's been going out around town has the symbol Arau, and that is the god of Krypton. And she's curious how this group knows about Rao, so she visits them, and the head guy notices that she's Supergirl right away. Uh, he was saved, actually, back in the pilot with the, the plane crash. He was on that plane. So now he's trying to worship Supergirl slash Rao in his own twisted way, and is getting people in harm's way. So it's really Kara trying to figure out how do you go and not change someone's beliefs, but uh, really discuss with them about their beliefs where they think she's a god. And uh, she tries to figure that out, and in the end she does save the day and is able to show that she just like anybody else, she also bleeds just like anyone else. And now's the end of the episode. But this is also a catalyst of our main villain, Rain, uh, who right now is just a mother and working for for uh, LexCorp and we get to see that she has these Kryptonian symbols on her so it looks like that machine going underground was actually a catalyst of creating rain uh, even more which is really interesting um, and I like this episode you know I really like the religious connotation that they do the parallels because you know Superman has always been uh, rooted in religion. Uh, so I find it interesting how they make those parallels in this episode. Uh, and also, I, I mean, I like the girl power aspect of the episode. We get to see uh, the different female characters of, of the show and the different journeys they're going through right now, like Rain and, and with her daughter and now this whole self-discovery. Uh, Lena just kind of being a good friend in this episode, but also Alex dealing with wanting to have children and Maggie not. So she might have to make a tough decision about being with Maggie, uh, which I think does make sense uh, leading into this marriage if they do get married, which we know that the actor is not a series regular anymore, so I think they are trying to break up Maggie and, and Alex, or at least not have the wedding happen because of these different beliefs. Uh, so I thought this was a very solid episode. Uh, I, I enjoyed the villain because you I don't want to say you kind of saw where he was coming from, but at least in the end, he, I love those lines that he said about, you know, when, when Supergirl first came on, on the field, she just knew what she wanted. She was bright. And now this Supergirl is clouded three years later, uh, and that he prays for her. Uh, but I thought that was really interesting. Uh, so he was a very interesting villain. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a very solid episode. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. This is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.